What's up everyone? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make homemade pita bread. Whole wheat pita bread is fun, delicious, and really simple to make. This recipe is actually based off a recipe that I messed up when I was in culinary school and I vowed to perfect it. So I've been making this for years. It's really great to have in your baker's repertoire. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, leave a comment. It helps me grow, it helps other users find me. And don't forget to check on my Instagram and TikTok. There's loads of baking content. And of course, on the blog, you'll find this pita recipe in full written detail. Now, let's get started. Before we mix, we're gonna measure out our ingredients, our mise en place. We've got 343 grams of whole wheat with 343 grams of bread flour. Water here, 480 grams, 17 grams of yeast, and 14 grams of salt. In the recipe, you're gonna see sugar, that's optional. I do recommend it if you're using a home oven. We're gonna start here by placing our yeast into the mixer. Next, we're gonna add our water. I like to add the salt with the flour. And then we're gonna put this inside the mixer. The water is about 30 or 32 degrees Celsius. I'm gonna leave a note on that below. Once the flour is in there, we're gonna start mixing on first speed for about three minutes. After the three minutes, you're gonna see that the dough is still just a little bit sticky, but we're gonna increase the speed to second speed, get that three minutes and go again here. Our time is up and you can see the dough is way less sticky. It's come together and really importantly, it's cleaned up the bowl and hit the cleanup stage. That means we've got good gluten development and we're ready to take this out of the bowl. Our mixing time is up. We're gonna remove the dough from our mixing bowl and place it into a lightly oiled bowl or you can use a container. I'm gonna use this bowl because it kind of fits perfectly, uh, but you can do whatever you'd like. So we're just gonna take this out, remove it. If you need a little bit of flour on your hands, you can put just a little touch. That's gonna help the dough not to stick. You can see this is really nice and developed, nice firm dough. I like to sort of roll it into a ball I'm gonna place this in here and just place a, a towel over top to keep it from drying out and getting a skin. Our dough is ready to be divided. Take a look. This rises super fast. And as I said before, this is a really simple recipe. We're gonna do this start to finish in about a half an hour, maybe a little bit more. So I've got a rolling pin. I've got my flour and I've got a scale. I'm just gonna lightly dust the top of this and I'm gonna let it out onto the table. I set my bowl aside and lightly flour the top. Now I'm gonna start to divide this into about 100 gram pieces. From a couple grams over, that's fine. I'm just gonna roll with it. So we're gonna try and cut similar size pieces. That's probably a little big. And here we go. So 102. If you have a little bit of extra dough like I do because your pieces are too big, we can cut one that's a little small. And then you're just gonna place that extra piece right in the middle. Now that we've divided our dough, we're gonna pre-shape it. So to pre-shape it, you're gonna take one piece, press it flat, and we're gonna roll it into a ball. Okay, I'll show you that again. You're gonna take one piece, press it flat, bring all the sides in, and just lightly roll it into a ball. You wanna make sure that the bottom is closed, or tight at least, like that, and that there's no rips or tears. 
Sometimes I like to just drag them through the excess flour so that I know they don't stick to the table, but be careful not to use too much flour or you won't be able to roll them out at this point. Once you've finished rolling out your dough balls, we're gonna cover them with a towel. They're gonna rise really fast, so make sure your oven is ready to go. I've already lit the wood oven. It's hot and ready. If you're using your home oven or your wood oven, you're probably gonna to wanna to light it or turn the oven on before you actually mix your dough because it rises so quickly. We're gonna be back in about five minutes. It's been about five minutes and our pitas are ready to roll. So let's check it out. I'm gonna save this towel. We're gonna start with lots of flour, and I mean a lot. And we're gonna just roll this into a circle. So you're gonna press it down and continue to turn it and roll. So every time you roll, you wanna turn it as well. This is gonna help you prevent it from sticking to the table. And we're gonna roll these pretty thin. Okay, so you can see it's pretty thin. I've got a firing peel here, which is gonna be very helpful for putting them in the oven. Make sure it slides when you're on here. You can see if you look closely, nice bubbles everywhere. Now that our pitas are rolled out, I'm gonna take the rest of them outside. I've already cooked a few. We'll take the rest of these out and we'll take a look. What I like to do is make sure there's lots of flour on them and I'm gonna load them onto one peel and then I'm gonna pass them to the other. If you don't have two peels like I do, you can just use a sheet pan or even a plate. What you do have to be careful of is if they sit like this for too long, they are gonna start to stick to each other. So give a good toss of flour, get them on there and let's go to the oven. I'm gonna start now to cook some of these in the oven. I'm gonna try and do two or three at a time and let's watch them puff up. Oven is nice and hot and we're just gonna shoot that right in there. Like a magician, you wanna kinda of pull the peel back instead of shoot it off. Now watch what happens in the oven. All that moisture inside is gonna to turn to steam and it's gonna to start to puff from the inside. Take a look, it's gonna puff up nice and it should fully inflate, there we go. At this point, you can pull it forward a little bit, flip it over. You're gonna wanna get both sides charred there. And this whole process is gonna take about 30 seconds. You can see it's nicely colored. I'm gonna pull it out. Be careful if you get any holes, it's gonna let steam out and that can really hurt. I'm gonna bring this over here and now, we're just gonna put a towel over top of this and let it sort of deflate so that it's gonna steam itself and stay soft. As we cook the rest of them, we're just gonna pile them on top and keep putting the towel over it. So I hope that shows you how easy it is to make pita bread at home. It's really simple. If you don't have a wood oven, check out the blog because I have a full written instructions on how you can make the same quality in a home oven. Just look how beautiful these came out. We've got that whole box. These can be opened up from the top and you can stuff them. You can see how it just peels apart. You can rip it in half. They make great pita chips the next day. You can have a little pocket to stuff like this if you'd like or you can just do what I do and eat them as is. Thank you for watching this instructional pita making demonstration. 
please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like and comment, it helps me grow and other users find me. And lastly, don't forget to check out my Instagram, TikTok and blog for more baking tutorials. I'll see you next time.